Hello everyone. Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to discuss how we can process the river bathymetric data in RTS. Here is the Excel file of my river bathymetric. We can see that there are three columns here. Now I will go to RTS. I am using RTS 10.8 version here. First of all, I will set the layers as BTM. So I will right click on it. Then I will go to properties. Then I will select BTM and will click on and OK. Then I will go to search option. We'll write Excel to table and we'll press enter. Then I will go to Excel to table conversion tool. Actually, what I am doing here as my bathymetric file is in Excel format. So if we want to call it in RGS uh, from Excel, we have to use the Excel to table tool. Now I will go to Excel to table conversion tool by left click on it. Then I will give the input Excel file, which is here. I will keep the output table file as it is. Then I will give the sheet optional as sheet one as my bathymetric data are in sheet one of this Excel. Now I will click on OK. Here we can see that our Excel to table option is run. We have to wait. Here we can see that our Excel to table is done. Now I will right click on this. Then we'll go to display XY data. Now I will select the X field as shown here. Then I will select the Y field as shown here. Then I will give the Z field as it is shown here. So what I am doing here, I am giving the X, Y, Z field. So my column A of this Excel is X field. The column B of my Excel is Y field. And the column C of my Excel is Z field. So basically I have given this field here. I will keep the projected coordinate system and geographic coordinate system as it is shown here. And I will click on OK. So here you can see that our river bathymetric point file is here. Now I will click on this. Then I will right click on this. We'll go to data, export data. Then I will export this data as shape file. Then I will click on OK. Here our export progress is running. Do you want to add the exported data to the map as a layer? Yes. Now Again, I will go to the search option. I will use an interpolation method here, which is pregame. There are other interpolation method. You can use other interpolation method for your project if necessary. Uh, so for this demo run, I am using pregame interpolation method. So I am writing pregame here. Then I will click on enter. Then I will go to pregame special analyst tool. Then I will select the input point features as export output 3. I will give the Z value field as F3127475 as it was the Z field of my Excel. Then 
I will save the output trust surface raster as it is shown here. I will give the output cell size optional as 30 uh, because uh, in my next tutorial, I will merge the flat plane of DEM file with this reverb bathmetry. As my DEM file is also 30 by 30 size, that's why I am giving the output cell size as 30 here. Then I will click OK. Here we can see that our clicking option, option is running. It can take some time based on your PC or laptop capability. So we will wait for some time. Here we can see that our clicking operation is completed. We can see that there are some extra portions outside the river is created due to this rigging operation. Now, what we have to do, we have to clip this river portion for our project. For that, I will create a shape file. So for doing this, I will left click on here, then I will right click here, we'll go to new, then I will go to shape file option. Then I can give a name here as area, feature type is polygon and our coordinate system will be BTM. I will click OK. Then I will again click on OK. Then for drawing the polygon, I will go to editor, start editing, we'll select the area, then we'll click on OK. Then I will go to create features option, we'll select this area shape file, then I will draw the polygon here. So as it is a demo run, I will not zoom it, but for drawing it perfectly, you should zoom it as much as possible so that you can draw the river perfectly. So now I will draw the polygon here. You should zoom it as much as possible for drawing the paper shape file. So uh, my polygon drawing is completed. Then I will go to editor, stop editing. Do you want to save your edits? Yes. So for clipping this particular river portion, I will again go to search option. Then I will write clip, we'll press enter. Then I will go to clip data management tool. We'll give the input cluster as shown here. Then I will give the output extent optional as area as my polygon shape file was area. Then I will tick mark the use input features for clipping geometry. And we'll also tick mark the maintain clipping extent optional. Then I will click on OK. I will save it in this folder as it is shown here. Here we can see that our clicking, clipping operation is running and it is finished. So here is our final river pathometry file. We can add a base map here to check if our projection was right. So here we can add a base map. Suppose I am adding topographic map here.
We have to wait sometimes. Uh, so here is our map. We can check as it was the bathymetry file of Jumuna River. We can see that it is overlapping in the perfect place. So we can say that our projection system was right. So that's it. Uh, this is how we can process the river bathymetry file. See you in next tutorial. Thank you.